Hey everyone, welcome back to Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Oh, we f What was I about to say? <laughs> we unlocked the Urgent last time, however, we're not going to go for it just yet. We're going to go after the, snow the Snowbound Slider over here. We're going to hunt ourselves a, la a Lagambe. Oh, of course, this guy. The snowbound, the uh, eagle-eyed observer talks like an old, uh, old style, old style, old school, real old school telegram. Report begins. Lagami spotted on the tundra. Stop. Requesting immediate support from all qualified hunters. Stop. We are snowed in and cannot render assistance. Report ends. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa! Hello. That was really quick. And let us for slugger. That's not slugger. This is slugger. Oh, apparently moxie as well. So I'm hoping to get slugger from this just because hammer. And uh, since we're going to the Arctic to hunt a Lagambi, and of course I got moxie, which clearly moxie is going to be so uh, so useful in this quest. It really won't be. <laughs> If you're unfamiliar with what Moxie is, is I believe if you have 60% or more of your total health, uh, when you take a hit that would kill you, uh, it instead leaves you with one hit point and doesn't actually kill you. It procs once for the hunt. It's the same as the Guts armor ability. So, uh, yeah, it is super, super good against late game... Uh, oh, hello, I'm almost running up there without taking my hot drink. It is uh, really good against some powerful endgame multiplayer bosses, essentially, but it's not so important against a little thing like a Lagambi. I was hoping for Slugger. <laughs> but uh, if he's not in here, he should be in three. Oh yeah, here we go. This guy swooping around here with his mouth wide open. Oh, he's just having a blast. And then he's trying to be intimidating. He he's not. Oh, I missed. Oh, that was kind of embarrassing. Alright, you know, I can't hit your head when you have it in the air like that. Oh, wow. well, I'm glad that worked out. Oh, flipped his, flipped his leg. And he doesn't actually have uh, a roar that stuns you. So it's basically, when he decides to roar, it's free damage if you're close. Oh! <laughs> Just sit there and whiff entirely in front of him there. That was, uh, that was entertaining. Okay. Uh, I was expecting that to hit me, but I was not expecting the second half of that to hit me. I was expecting the first half of that to hit me. And this should be a beast here. A little more money for me, thank you. I think that was a pin. Pretty sure that was a pin. Oh, come on. Stop, uh, stop spitting away from me. There we go, KO, finally. And he may not survive this. Alright, well I'm hitting his, his, his stronger points in his body. If I was able to actually properly target his, his head for the majority of that, he might have actually been killed. Nope, I'm getting hit. I should have, uh, should have rolled forward instead of to the side like I did. Actually, kind of close. 
Alright, well, I'm not gonna... Oh, maybe I will, actually. Oh, beautiful! It actually stopped him, too. Ah, oh, I was kind of hoping that uh, last hit would stagger him. This is... No, it's not gonna reach him. Well, he's about to be finished. Barely five minutes into the episode. And he's going to... <laughs> I like how that upper... That upswing, that draw upswing... Ow. I don't know why I just st stood there. I could have done a number of things to sort of move myself, although I probably wouldn't have been able to move out of the way of that. Hello. Good on you, Lagambi. I was not expecting that movement. That I should have seen coming. Nope. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, get out of the corner, please. I said get out of the, that corner. Oh, got him. That would have been awesome if that actually killed him. Oh, let that go a little too a little too late, although it probably wouldn't have mattered. Probably would have traded hits with him anyway. And uh, that was Bagambi, everybody. <laughs> He's uh, basically the same as uh, Arzuros, except he throws ice and slides. Yeah. Uh, hit his head, break his ears. Don't hit his ass. It's uh, stronger than the rest of them. Go for the head. And that is uh, really all there is to him. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to think what should be, what should I do next? I've got capture a Raytheon, which I don't think I'm going to do now. I've got hunter killer, which I believe is a Baroth and a great Jaggy, which will be fairly quick. I can probably do that. And I don't know if there's enough. Oh yeah, there was a a quest that I'm not going to do on camera. I'm going to do that off camera. So I'm going to probably take care of a Baroth and a great Jaggy real quick. I think we'll do that. Now the que the, be the bigger question is what uh, what should I use? Oh, good, good, got an ear. I actually do need more uh, Lagambi parts. Come to think of it, I've got a couple of weapons I need as parts to upgrade. wants to talk to me and I believe yes I've got some crops ready so let's quickly go get my crops should be an adamant seed and mite seeds uh, check the box yes and a good chunk of them too at that uh, yeah I shall take husbands And I do not have the resource points I need. I need to start... Uh, I definitely need to start doing some... Uh, some free hunts and, and whatnot there. That's not what I want. I want to look at the forecast real quick. Oh my god. See, I want a Raytheon to show up on this on these things there. Because they will be worth a significantly larger amount than, uh, than the other two. I don't have any reports to, to do, do I? I don't believe I do. No, I don't. I just wanted to double check that. Alright, so we're going to go after a Great Jaggy and a Baroth. So I'm going to change my weapon. And the question remains, what weapon do I want to use? Do I want to use a lance or a longsword? Because I don't want to use a hammer. Uh... Do I want to use a longsword or do I want to use a lance? No, I'm not going to use a lance. Lances are... You know what? No, let's let's use a, the heavy bowgun. Let's use my heavy bowgun. And we're going to go for... Let's see here. Uh, that uses water shots, which is actually half decent. This uses fire shots, which is half decent. 
This is just Thunder Shots, which is not so great, but I don't care about that. I'm probably just going to focus on normal shots this time. Uh, so let's go with... Right? Low to the right. Hmm. What ammo? Normal Shot 2. Okay. And it can use pellets. Uh, I'm going to use that. And I don't care about my elemental shots. I'm going to... I don't care about having elemental shots. What what do I have in my pouch? I'm going to double check. I have pierce, pellet, and normal. I'm just going to use those. Alright, that should be good. Let us eat for... Foodie and Black Belt. That sounds great. I think I may have hit my mic in there, and I apologize if that was uh, the case. If uh, if I just cut out mid uh, mid word there, it's because I smacked my mic at the same time, and I uh, s I'm sparing you the the noise. <laughs> so Hunter Killer. All right. Now I am also being stupid and not bringing my own dung bombs, so I'm going to rely on what they might give me in the box. And uh, let us start with pellet. I'm going to use pellet to start, and uh, let's take some water shots with me, why not? Uh, some cleansers, sure. This is normal and pellets, so... Alright. Great Jaggies, usually in 5, I want to say. So I'm going to drop down to the 4 and then go up to 5. Hopefully I'll kill him before he uh, runs into Baroth. And, uh, and then I will focus on... Well, I'll focus on Baroth, because Jaggy will be dead. <laughs> I don't know why that was a, a thing of logic uh, coming up in my, uh, my head at that point. Nope. Get away, get away. Leave me alone. Thank you, uh, Jagia. That was actually nice of you to cut my reload animation. There's the break. Ow! This is what happens when you get ganged up on. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Why are there so many of them? You know what, I actually like how much capacity I have with this thing. Like, I had 80 pellets, 80 pellet shots. I feel like the light bowgun in Portable 3rd didn't hold that many. I wonder if that's because this is a heavy bowgun that I can hold more. But I can still only hold 60 of the elemental shots. That was the same as the heavy bowgun, or the light bowgun. Or maybe I'm just misremembering. I could just be misremembering the amount, but then again, it might also be a difference from Portable 3rd to 3 Ultimate. They might have uh, increased that. Because I know in 3 Ultimate, at least the uh, North American version, which is clearly what I'm playing, you actually have a defense buff. Uh, your default defense, I believe, is 50 or 51, instead of the normal 1 that every other game and even the Japanese version has. So you have more defense in the, uh, the North American release of 3 Ultimate. And I don't know if that's a thing in Try as well. I've never played Try. Alright, you get over here.
Now, I do remember mentioning in, uh, in Portable 3rd that Pel I didn't think Pelichot had a critical distance. I'm still not sure if it does, but you definitely want to be close when you're using it. It's a nice widespread, but it uh, seems to hit uh, two or three times if you catch from the right angle. So uh, that's definitely good. I'm actually surprised he's still alive. Like, this is a multi-monster quest. Oh, there's the limp. Alright, I'm gonna let him... I'm gonna give him a little time to go to sleep. Cats, why are you attacking Cha-Cha? What did he do to you? Seriously, what what did he do to you? Whoa. Now they're throwing bombs. Jesus, what did you do? <laughs> Cha-Cha, what are you doing to them? Alright, so now that he's asleep... Hey, Jaggy. I was kind of hoping that shot would kill him. But it did make him angry. Alright, can you stop backing away the second I reposition, please? I'm not very fast with a, with a heavy bow gun. Why are you still alive? There we go. Alright, so I guess I will use the rest of my pellet shots on, uh, on Baroth. Oh, please don't. Okay, thank you. And then I will... Please, please don't. Please, please don't. Stop it. Go away. I don't know why I'm carving Jaggy, to be honest. I'll use the rest... the, the rest... I'll use the rest of these and then switch over to my uh, normal shots uh, for Baroth. So hopefully Baroth is not in in eight over over here in eight. I'm going to quickly pop into here just because sometimes he does go into there. Good. So if he's not here in 3, he can be in 1, he could be in 2, and he may be coming into here as well as I'm going into there. Um, there he is! That was nice timing. Where, oh, I understand. I once again didn't put a shield on this, did I? I did not. You can put a shield on the heavy bow gun. It's the uh, it's one thing that I like about it, and it basically acts like an auto guard. If your weapon is out, you're not moving and not shooting, and you're facing the proper direction, uh, it'll guard it automatically. It is not the greatest guard. I believe it's on par with the I want to say it's on par with a sword and shield. Um, so it's not as good as the lance or the gun lance's shield, but it is better than blocking with a great sword. I believe I believe it is anyway. I don't think it's on par with the great sword. I think it is better than the great sword. You have done absolutely nothing with the mud on you. Why are you rolling in it again? What 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 and why? So additionally, instead of the uh, the shields, you can put a power barrel on this thing to increase your damage. I believe it increases your damage by 5%, which um, doesn't sound like much, but it adds up, and it's not like an armor skill or anything like that. It just adds you a solid... adds you... gives you a solid bonus. Hello! Did I, oh, I got my reload off. Perfect. Because he's not focusing on me. But it's just a nice little source of extra damage, and if you're not going to use a shield... Like, right now, I'm not using a shield on, on mine, which I would prefer to be. I'm kicking myself for not doing that uh, before I started this, but it's not going to be too big of a deal overall. 
did not mean to roll that way. Oh, I got my... Once again, I got my reload off. Ha! Alright, three more shots. Okay, I meant to turn and shoot him in the arms, and I didn't. Let's go. Uh, that's a lot of uh, shots I have with this. Can you stop moving? Can, can you stop? Please? Nope. So once again, just like previous, I'm trying to shoot his arms because his arms are his weakest point. Good. Got the mud off them. Wait. I... what? Why is there a shiny here? What left this? For, when did he leave a shiny there? I'm not complaining, I'm just curious. And of course, now I get a, a fertile mud. I needed a buttload of them to make his high rank armor, and it took me absolutely forever to get them. It was ridiculous. I got down to the point where I needed one left, and of course, Desire Sensor... Oh, I didn't get my reload off. Desire Sensor said, oh, you want it? You're not getting it. Literally, I think I hunted him five times and I only needed a single freaking fertile mud. Five hunts later, I finally get it. Uh oh. <laughs> I I knew I I actually did not mean to shoot there. I had meant to uh he's angry. I had meant to uh, reload, but that also would have been bad because he like ran at me the second I uh, stood there looking like an idiot. Nope. I am not sure why his tail didn't hit me, but I'm not complaining. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Take this opportunity to reload again. Another shiny? When is he dropping these shinies? Why is he dropping so many shinies now? I've never seen him drop these shinies like this before. What is going on? Let's reload. Like, I've never actually seen him drop shinies like this before. This is ridiculous. I usually only get one shiny. I've already gotten two. I don't think I can get more than two in a hunt in this game. I think two is the cap uh, for three. Oh. And of course I didn't hit my reload in time, so I still have to do that. Ugh, Jaggy. Jaggy! No. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Let me up. I'm used to Monster Hunter World. The uh, the button combination to do your melee hit with uh, bow guns in Monster Hunter World is the same to start crouching fire in this. So I just wanted the crouching fire... Ow! Trying to smack them with my... Uh, trying to do that. I knew that was going to happen the second I did it. Oh, what the hell, I just aim at his legs and knock him over. Oh... Nope! Oh, wow. I don't know how I was able to get away from... get away with that. Well, 
at this point, I wish I actually had a bomb. Set that up right in front of his face and blow his, he blow his head up, but... Oh well. Actually, I'm going to let him go to sleep. My, uh, my first shot on him will do... I believe indirect attacks, like ranged projectile attacks from bowguns and bows, as well as explosions from bombs, I'm pretty sure they do three times damage as a wake-up. However, I'm not 100% sure anymore. Information that I've, that I've heard in the past said it were uh, three times, but I know for a fact that in world it's actually two times damage. So I don't know if that was, uh, if that was just a, a change that they made in world. Or uh, if perhaps the three times damage modifier is actually two times. But uh, I'm going to go with three times because that's what the information has said in the past. So three times damage on his arm there for the weak point. And I'm not 100% sure how Tenderizer works in this game because I do have Tenderizer and it doesn't seem to be visually showing anything, so I wonder if Tenderizer in this game just actually uh, increases my damage output uh, on the weak points, whereas in Portable 3rd it actually just gave you affinity, and also in Monster Hunter World it gives you affinity when you uh, when you actually strike uh, monsters' weak points, so I should actually look into that uh, more specifically, because this armor does have weakness exploit, and I've been shooting him this entire time. In basically exclusively in the hands, and I have not noticed any uh, any critical hit sparks. So I wonder if it just increases your damage uh, your damage dealt. But yeah, that is uh, that was good old hunter killer quest here. That was uh, great, Jaggy, as great as he is in Baroth. Nothing really notable. And actually, I liked uh, gunning him. Uh, to be honest, that was fun. <laughs> oh man, I I've never really gunned seriously uh, until I started doing these uh, these playthroughs, essentially. And uh, I'm actually uh, finding I'm really liking the uh, the bow gun like quite a bit more than I than I thought I would. I th I'm not sure if I prefer the uh, the mobility of the uh, the light bow gun over the the heavy bow gun style. But uh, I definitely I like these uh, I like I like these weapons. They're they're a lot of fun. All right, what do I got? Broth claws, uh, king's frill, scalp. Scalp is his rare, his low rank rare, and I seem to have so many of them. It's ridiculous. And antiseptic three, and no thank you. Ow, my elbow. So, this, I believe, will bring us to a close for today. Nobody wants to talk to me. Good, no one wants to talk to me. I'm just going to quickly double check what we have left here. Not what I wanted to check. What do I have left on here? I'm going to take care of those off camera. A Royal Rumble, and that's it. So, I'm going to do those two off camera, so they'll be done. And next time, I believe I'm going to just do a, a quick Royal Rumble here. We'll do that, and then we'll take on the uh, the urgent, and that'll be the next time. So, thank you all for watching. Oh my God, excuse me. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully you will come back next time to see uh, oh to see how things unfold. So until then, take care. You here.